Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the Best of Both Worlds campaign. Thank you ever so very much for joining me. The fall of Moscow is nigh. We are doing fantastically well, though I say so myself. Naval invasions being repelled left, right and centre. I should leave these guys here just to shoot down all the people that are uh, trying to cross into us and to do these naval invasions as well, actually. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, we still got people assigned to each area. Uh, none here. Let's put a few there. There were ally, there was rather allied air power here, but no longer apparently. Okay, I have Facebook open. Should close that. Um, so we are going to take Moscow. I mean, more or less. We're going to liberate Finland simultaneously, which is glorious, of course. And uh, who's who's attacking here? On my infantry. Which one? Oh, this one, right? It puts them behind when they're attacking sometimes. It's a bit strange. I guess it's to distinguish those attacking here to those moving here, but anyway. Um, let's keep getting you in. As soon as we pocket these guys, we'll take them out, starting with Leningrad. So that we can push them into this tile and then annihilate them. Phenomenal. Look at that speed of movement. The fall of Leningrad. Leningrad, the birthplace of the Russian Revolution, has fallen. To advancing German forces. Sporadic fighting can still be heard from some suburbs, but a strange calm appears to have settled over the rest of the ruined city. Fantastic. Sevastopol, soon to follow. Uh, let's get some more of these guys deployed down here. And the Caucasus is within reach. Dare I say it? I know we've had <laughs> disappointments about the Caucasus before, but uh, this time, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to finally take the Caucasus and uh, bring that glorious Soviet oil back well not back but but to where it belongs everyone knows Baku's oil is rightfully owned by the British not the British the uh, <laughs> autopilot there by the uh, German naval industry alright keep going up here good they're still trying to fall back. I don't blame them. Alright, keep going in here. Obviously, if we had tanks all along the line, we could more effectively uh, kind of route them. But So, tanks, I'd like you to just real quick, just a little thing. Could you take Finland for me? That would be lovely. Okay, so this is obviously a bit of an ask. <laughs> but, I mean, we've got, what, 11 tank divisions here or something? Only five there? Right, the others were deployed further south. Where have the other tanks gone? Did they head off west? That's my bet. I bet they headed over here for some reason because of the front line auto, auto setting. No? They're in low supply there. You know what? Let's take the tanks off the front line. All of them. And see if it can hold. I don't want tanks sitting in low supply and suffering. There's ten there. Six here. There's more than that. There's three more. Where are the three more? No one in this... No one has no orders. So I'm here, 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 here. Alright, from the top. Maybe or not all the tanks in the north are assigned to the order. Mm, there's eight there. Okay. Eight there. Sorry, no. Nine there. Okay, there we go. That accounts for all of them. Alright, tanks. Have at them. We want two different front lines here. One here. Which is just going to go auto go east. Do what you can to try and cut off any Soviets you find. How many divisions are they down to now? 200? I don't really remember what they had recently, but I mean, that seems low considering it's 1945. <laughs> what did I want you extra guys? I think it was on these some of these port defenses. Could do with some extra men, yeah. Okay, and the tanks should now just rampage through. You, I'm assuming, have. No, actually, let's get... I uh, don't know if it matters what you set the higher guy to, but let's set them both to um, full-on offensive. Hey, Rommel. What am I waiting for you to get so I can assign you something? Maybe this one? Logistics wizard? Yeah. I've got two more traits I can assign you there. What was the other one going to be? You're never, you're never going to get commando. We're not going to use... Well, at least we're going to try not to use tanks in temperatures lower than 15. We probably are right now, actually. So uh, it's only minus two here. Come on, that barely makes your uh, barely makes your coolant freeze. Your not your coolant, your antifreeze freeze even. 
That's nothing. <laughs> we can handle minus minus two. So so tanks. You know how I said tank. I don't know. They're just not not really into the kind of mad rushes before everyone's ready. Can't imagine why. <laughs> no, it's quite sensible. We're both leaving holes in the front. They don't realise that the Soviets are a paper tiger at this point. So, resistance to occupation. Yep, that is a, a constant concern. We have six here. So I'll be having you. And then we're out. So I really hope we can indeed deploy a button more. Nice. Look at that. That's crazy. Three there. Good. Sevastopol falling. A determined resistance, but the mountaineers are coming through. Nice. Sevastopol will, of course, give us some more dockyards, which once we get those oil fields, are going to be all the more useful. Oh, hello! There's the Soviet front line. Okay. Finally found it. Good. In which case, you guys cease in your orders. And you guys up here, I mean, there's enough people on the front line that I should be microing it now. In the north, not really. There's almost no one here. But in the center, you know, we can, if we were paying more attention, we'd be able to inflict, inflict, rather, inflict, inflict heavier casualties faster. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Good. Keep pressing north. Uh, he's retreating that way. Um, I want him to pocket these guys, though. Well, there's more people down here. Let's try that way. And if you could pin him while well, multiple combats penalty, maybe you won't win? No, he will. It's a funny problem. You know, your guy's winning too easily. Oh, was it actually 0.6 over here? It was 0.6 in both of them, I see. Good. Okay, hello, Soviet defenders. Actual proper Soviet defenders. Whoa, a lot of Soviet defenders. Fall of Sevastopol. Marvelous. Great news. One dockyard? <laughs> this is a bit of a strange noise I made, but one dockyard? Really? Maybe maybe moving... Uh, I, oh, I can't, won't be able to see, but... Maybe move factories east. No, it doesn't unlock decisions to remove them from, from down there. How oh, is there one? Surely there's more than that, aren't there? I don't know, maybe I'm forgetting. Maybe they were always just all in Leningrad, and I'm mistaken. Finland being given its independence here. Um, we will, of course, need to request land off Finland when we, when we invade, if we invade Sweden from them, which might mean we have to give them some other land, but that's fine. If we give them... Uh, yeah, we can give Finland some land maybe in the Baltics. That'd be fine, at least in the short term. Resistance to occupation? What? What is your core? Oh, right, but I'm... No, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm the state owner. Oh, yeah, someone explained why uh, why Copenhagen didn't switch over. The, these two provinces didn't switch over. It's because I was, I was right. It's You have to own the whole state. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Ah, oh, God. Sorry, I started choking. <laughs> mm. So, you have to own the whole state, and then it flips over to the state controller. We didn't have Bornholm, and we still don't. So, that's why. Thank you for explaining that, by the way. It's much appreciated. We are holding them off there. The Turks continue their valiant defense. Although they appear to have decided time's come to fall back a bit. Okay, Soviet line reached. So we'll just uh, we'll just neaten out the front best we can. Pin them. I want to get this guy taken out. We'll get the line neatened out. We'll bring the tanks in and we'll resume probably either micro or macro pocketing. Uh, their line appears to not defend Moscow. <laughs> Which I would say was a little questionable. Let's launch a full frontal. My favourite Hoy-related metal band. Full frontal assault here onto Moscow. Alright. It's not a real metal band, by the way. Before you start Googling it and getting disappointed. <laughs> Let's keep going up here. Yeah, you can stop on your plan. Finland liberated. Glorious. So you could just come down here and clear up the rest of the Kerala. Well, this this whole isn't this whole region Kerala. I don't know. Maybe it's not called Kerala because Russia owns it. But I thought this whole area was Kerala. 
Most, many of my region names <laughs> just stem from where de jure borders are in ZK2, which I know is highly questionable. <laughs> but still. All right. Do, 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 do. Just mostly pinning action here so we can actually push to Moscow itself. Fantastic. Do, 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 do. I mean, it makes sense the Soviets are being incompetent, right? Imagine how many of their generals were killed during those early encirclements when we were powering in. We had control of the skies. They didn't flee that way. Our tanks were faster than they could retreat. Was, uh, in, my, my, in my mind, we decimated a bunch of their, uh, their command structure at that moment. We can also give Switzerland, uh, Switzerland, Finland all these states uh, and Kola. It's not called Kola. Go. Playing, playing th I'm playing three different Paradox games right now on my channel. <laughs> it's really confusing. Because <laughs> everything's called different stuff. Right, yes, come over here. Good. Come over here. Good. Okay. Liberation of Helsinki done. Pockets established. Defense against the counterattack going fine. Haven't crossed here. Let's see if we can lure them in. No, they're going the other direction. Fair enough. We'll just push to the uh, easily defensible spot and then wait there then. Just hoping I could lure them in and attack behind them, but never mind. A couple of Soviet ships actually just visible there. It's interesting. That's a big ship you got there. Well, a nice looking ship too. Cool. Uh, right, some more puppet divisions available. Hello, Greece. Uh, excuse me. That's not Greece. That's not Greece. Right. Greece. I'd love these men. Uh, anyone else? Nope. Cool. You two. Come man this port. I'll want you when we capture the next couple. Okay. Short still. Very much so on stuff. Looks like Sweden is either opening up its economy law or developing its land. So we can get a little more tungsten off them. Which of course we much appreciated by our medium tank producers. Coming up here, pin those American tanks. Get in behind them, good. Fabulous, just keep pushing and then cut it off from the rest of the Soviet Union. It, not that it looks like they're really very serious about defending this area. Do you stop please? Thank you. Go ahead of them and then come back on them. We're so fast we can afford to do these kind of double backs. There's Vasa. Speaking of the Kriegsmarine. Do, 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 do. I know it's a Swedish ship, not part of the Kriegsmarine, but it's naval. It's close enough. <laughs> okay, we could probably pull off some uh, micro pockets just with infantry here. Pinning attack. Yep, perfect. We'll take some casualties, but that's okay. So another run I'm considering doing after this one. Uh, I have a few options that I've been thinking about recently. Um, one of them is a uh, modern day run because I have never done a campaign in the modern day mod and I should give it a fair chance I basically I mean I, I kind of I played it for a very short period of time before deciding I didn't think it was for me and that's that's not fair because it's a very popular mod and uh, you know, obviously loads of work's gone into it and stuff and it's probably pretty good if you if you get into it so I should give it a chance uh, so I'm gonna do that at some point the other one I was thinking of is trying to take as few casualties as possible across the whole game, doing playing Germany. I mean, I know, maybe not Germany. Maybe we try playing with someone else, just to, <laughs> just to not play Germany for the millionth time. But maybe we play the USA or something. You have to capitulate all other majors and take as few casualties as possible, wondering whether I can get it below, like, 10,000 or something. And that'd be kind of fun. It's probably best as a stream game, though. Should we get more reconnaissance from our, our recon companies? Thing is, it's plus two, right? How much recon do we have in this right now? Oh, one. Okay. I thought that was insignificant because lots of other things gave recon. No, I'm an idiot. Let's get that. Okay, nice. So, the line is just outside Moscow. It's been easy up till here, and now it's going to get a bit harder. <laughs> Historical parallels abound when you look for them. Okay, they're filling out the line up north. That's fine. We don't mind them filling the front and making it diff more difficult to push because... It's just more opportunities for micro pockets. 
Yoink. No, probably not like that. There we go. You can push up the coast. Glorious. Putting it in range to import from Sweden, which is excellent. Okay, these guys... Oh, it didn't break. Right. Fair enough. Let's give them another go then. Ooh, they're quite strong, actually. Okay, maybe we let them uh, wear themselves out a bit. Or some of them move in here. That seems fine. <clears throat> actually nearly breaking there when the Soviet tanks are coming against us. So, yeah. So here's a proper Soviet fallback line. It's not necessarily where I'd have put it, but it's definitely time to fall back. And putting it, giving them some time to, you know, regain org, reorganize, get some entrenchment and stuff. Not a bad idea. Lots of assaults starting. It does strike me as a bad idea. They're going to take more casualties than they inflict with that. So we'll let the tanks finish off the uh, Finnish campaign. <clears throat> they will need some infantry support. The Turks are up here. Nice. Hey, the Finns have landed. Yes. <laughs> Glorious. Um, they'll need some infantry support, obviously, especially once we get up here, and we just want to stagnate on that mountain tile, preferably. Could actually send some mountaineers up there, but I don't know. I quite like having them consolidated in the south. Presumably, this is well defended. No, it isn't. All right. Well, I'll gladly push across there. Um, when's our next batch ready? I could rush deploy these guys uh, and put them in the north here. We won't need nearly this many to cover Finland. So we can probably have some on the front while the ones behind the front train and then s rotate them out. Yeah, that seems fine. Go for it. You lot. New army. Second army. Second eastern front field marshal is what I mean to say. Uh, you can have... Well, just give them this... this I don't think we're going to have three Panzer armies, and the second one will obviously be led by the guy we've got leading the expeditionary forces right now, so let's be under this guy. Just rush up there and, and finish off taking to here, please. Oh, I just put their front on the entire border. Oh, no, right, that's the Western Front, guys. I forgot we switched where we had our best men. And I don't think I'm going to change it. I mean, training up our less good generals is valuable uh, experience. And, uh, you know, we need them on the western, on the eastern front. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's so confusing, right? Because that's... This... <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, over here on our western front, we still need the good guys here because if they start doing a big push, we'll need them there right at the beginning of the push. Okay, so... Holding down here. Mm, almost. Not, not going to hold in some places. That would be annoying. Get pocketed here. Let's retreat preemptively. In case we don't manage it, if they do manage it, we'll just go back to defending. Let's try and push in here. They're, they're attacking us unsuccessfully, so we're likely to be able to. To break them, that is, not just to attack them. Okay, they're pretty much... You know, we have made contact with the enemy all the way along the front. Let's just check that the fronts are evenly distributed. Yeah, fairly, fairly. Okay, there's only you know, one, one tile here. I'll quibble with the details. This lower front is shorter, but that's fine because they're 20 wits. Okay. So now, once as soon as the infantry get to this front, it's time to... Oh, goodness gracious. That's a bad idea. That order is a hangover from the very recent time when the Soviets were absolutely no threat. Suddenly they are a bit of a threat. Okay, push them back. Good, good, good. Okay, and as soon as the infantry get up here, which they should be coming pronto, yeah, excellent, we will uh, move these tanks onto this front and start racking up them Soviet kills again. Let's just push these guys back. This is becoming... This, is, this, this front is just a little tenuous because we've left the tile open. If we just drive them back a little bit, it'll be easier. We can worry about the pocketing once we've got the tanks in place. So over here. Doesn't look like we need the tanks, does it? In fact, we might have a medium tank surplus, almost. I think we have a large enough, or small enough, that is to say, medium tank deficit. But I'm even going to start training another one. Because he's got to do lots of training apart from just the deployment of the medium tanks. So, let's put two in parallel, I think, these days. Uh, the oh crap army is ready to deploy when needed. <laughs> I just like that idea. <laughs> so we're going to do that. 
Chromium over importing, but not by a factory. Good. Good, good, good. You trying to break out there while well, this guy secures his fate. Seems good. You are going to make it back to safety. Okay. Now what we'll do, considering, you know, lots and lots of allied divisions showing up here. We should pull back uh, and we should take the tanks over here. <clears throat> we'll do an organized tank push up this coast, cutting them off from uh, Soviet reinforcements and then crushing along the north, cutting them off from retreat and then we'll annihilate any divisions the Allies put in here. And that will be excellent training for our new general and our new new guys. Fabulous. Is that a border province? It doesn't feel like it's a border province. Won't be shortly, even if it is. All right, the infantry are here, boys. Marvellous. So, resistance occupation. A little bit down here. How much? 0.9, that'll be five glorious Hussarin. It's close enough to Hussars. <laughs> Get a few of you down there. Good. And that easy push across the thing actually was no such thing because they kept reinforcing it. That's fine. We'll just stay here. We can get this from behind. That'll be easier anyway. Marvellous. Okay, this radar could do with upgrading. And this one could do with upgrading. Good. And then we could put some radar on the eastern front, but I don't really need see the need. We could cover the med a bit better. Um, maybe the southern front, because we might want to push down there when we actually start doing some naval invasion funky stuff. We could cover here with radar as well. To uh... Is that how high it would go from one level or from three? I think that's from one level. I think with three levels, we'd get good coverage here and do better at shooting down the uh, enemy boats in the region. So sure, let's spend on that. We're still doing oil, obviously, but these aren't very expensive. They're 3,000 each, each level, and they don't increase like forts do? No. Good. Okay, so I was going to move the tanks over. That's right. You guys, we got distracted onto seeing how many more tanks we could deploy. Let's leave the lights. Let's leave four tanks. We've already got one on the front. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we'll take these six. And they can come down here. Six is a good good number of 40-width tanks, I think, to operate independently. I'll have them down here and start doing some... Not quite micro pockets, not not quite the you know one province ones, but but pretty small. Just fall back to where that front has stabilized a little. All oh, right, yes, that's a sea zone. These darn Finnish lakes, eh? I hear they have a few of those. We are having some supply issues somewhere. Where? This guy claims he has supply issues. I don't buy it. Um, you guys should, however cease your automatic attacks because we should be microing this let's get some pockets here pin him yep nice let's see if we can pocket him before he breaks out nah he's gonna win that defense far too quickly uh here just do an actual organized pushback i think good any more resistance occupation yes leningrad naturally needs eight men sorry nine men I don't put them on the port, by the way, just so that I can see that they're not port defenders when zoomed out. I know there's the color as well, but you might as well give yourself extra ways to tell. If we could just push up here. That would be excellent. Mm, no, maybe not. <laughs> Looks like we're not going to be able to pull that off. I'd just love to be able to break through here, because then the Soviets would have to reinforce by the sea, and it would take them much longer. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do some some concentrated tank pushes if we want to make headway here. That's fine. We know how those work. You aren't actually moving? Okay. Well, if you're just going to let us pocket you, I won't, I won't object. We could put a good general up here. We could also send good troops up here. But, I mean, the Turks are here to help, so that's good. The Turks seem much more willing to help on the Finnish front than on our front. That's interesting. Um, we have a winter specialist. Though it's not that cold. It's December. What is it right now over here? It's two degrees. Wait, no, that's the time. It's minus two degrees. Mm, yeah, 
I mean, we should send a, we should send someone good. Uh, sure. Hell, get some training. Hell, where have you been so far? Ah, fair enough that you haven't got very many skills, considering you've just been sitting idly in uh, in Turkey. You can go to the front. It's uh, it's time. Let's go to the front and uh, see what we can do there. Good. Okay, tanks en route to high speed. Tanks here. Perhaps ready to break through? Yeah, okay. We need to do... Uh, now we're fighting. This is Soviet core territory. Now we're fighting them here. They've, they've had time to reinforce. They've got their uh, their country. We're in a terrain debuff. You know, we need, to, we need to take things serious. Attack from multiple directions. That kind of thing. Don't really want to drive this guy back. I want to take these two tiles. Um, neither of them could be attacked from two directions. So maybe we're going to settle. We're just annihilating him by coming at him from four directions. Very few men can resist the attack from four directions simultaneously. Oh, maybe another potential pocket here. If we can take this tile, come in from the north, would be good. Dangerous naval invasion? Not so. And we're managing to shoot down a bunch of the convoys too. Northwest Germany? Doesn't look like it's going to be bad. Cruise Marine all fully repaired and ready to go. We could move it up here and uh, provide shore bombardment. Um, yeah, are there any enemy ships in this region? No. We could convoy raid. Uh, no, not anymore. Um, we could try and deploy it in the Norwegian and Bar Barnet Sea. It's been a while since we deployed this fleet. A long while, but it's now fully repaired. There are some enemy ships here. Obviously, the enemy planes will rapidly become a problem, but if we don't deploy planes, there's a chance they don't. So, let's just poke our nose out. Let's just see what there is to see. Very carefully. Here they come. No planes yet. Our planes instantly doing good damage to them. We already won a victory. Won, won one battle here, apparently. <laughs> now we have enemy air cover coming in. Quite a bit of it. So let's throw up the fighters we have in the region and the bombers. Intercept too. You guys aren't really needed uh, down there. We're holding there just fine without you, so if you would rush to the North Sea, please. Okay, air, air power back in our sway. Clear air. Nice. Wiping out some of the uh, destroyers in the region. That's good. These guys have been, you know, doing some serious surface rating against us, so better go down to speed three, sorry, speed two, if we're going to try and pull off a simultaneous attack by sea and by land. Don't want things to get mucked up, you, right. you know, leaving a gap in our front line where they could encircle us and some of our Finnish allies, for example. All right, men, concentrate over here. I want to try and push to this coast. Down here, have the tanks arrived yet? Not quite yet. All right, so the battle. Still going marvellously, no problems. The carrier's doing all the work, getting all the experience. Uh, the Europa, already back up to veteran level. Marvellous. Of course, we have all the uh, glorious aces that I've been holding in reserve. Here, there we go. Wiped out. Wiped out their contingent. Is that all the ships they had in this region? Not quite. There's those guys up there. Let's go fight them. If you're wondering why I'm not assigning them an order, so that they don't spread out. They're all perfectly unified. They are precisely where we need them. And they can join battles still. Right? Oh, maybe not, actually. But now if I put it on Search and Destroy, they should instantly join. Yes, good. And then you can cancel their, uh, cancel their order and they stay in the fight, I believe. Good. Instantly sinking a bunch of their submarines. Great. There they went. Five submarines sunk. Fabulous. And that brings them down to one enemy ship present, which has just hurried into port. Very satisfying. Okay. Convoy raids. Those allies have a lot of men in this region. I would like them to not get away. Convoy raiding with carriers. They have a Christ ton of planes deployed here. That's incredible. Let's... Uh, Let's not go in the Eastern North Sea, perhaps. 
Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of planes while we get up there. But I don't know if they'll deploy planes to the North Sea. We're currently fighting them here, of course. So they they love love fighting our planes. But if we just go up here, maybe we'll, maybe that'll work. Uh, so, planes that were here. Stop flying. We're going to need you later. Cool. You can stay deployed in the, those places. That's fine, but... We shouldn't fly. All right, let's push them back. There's two of those crossing rivers, but I think we'll be fine. Good. Okay, I'm going to call it apart here. In the next episode, we'll keep trying to push into Scotland. I know it's Scotland. Into Finland. I know Moscow hasn't fallen yet, but it's uh, it's not to be hurried. We'll do a micro pocket above. Oh, sorry. A mid-sized pocket above, mid-sized pocket below, and then we'll pocket Moscow itself and take the capital. It'll be glorious. All right, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.